If you're like me, typically when you see a bee, you might quickly run the other direction. But after speaking with Chrissy Ward from the Big Country Beekeepers Association, I now have a different perspective. Ward and her team work to educate the community about these creatures and the good they can do. Here's this week's story for my segment, Absolutely Abilene, shining a light on absolute greatness in the Big Country. <laughs> now, you might be thinking, What's all the buzz about? Hi, my name is Chrissy Ward, and I'm the president of the Big Country Beekeepers Association. There is a queen excluder here and one here to keep her inside. Our motto is education, resources, community, and services. The Big Country Beekeepers Association was founded back in 2019. Ever since then, they have been living up to this motto, serving 16 counties here in the Big Country. We provide some services for the Big Country regarding bees and beekeeping and removals, and then we'll, we'll teach classes periodically about bees and beekeeping. But bees are scary, right? They can sting you. And we have a shirt that says, if I'm running, you need to be running. <laughs> This group also makes a point to clear up these misconceptions. That's where the education comes in. Probably the main thing is most people think that bees are aggressive and they're really not. So they're, as a bee innate in its nature, they're pretty calm and docile. All right, there they are. Ward emphasized that these creatures essentially just want to pollinate and protect their colony. But most importantly, they are not out to get you, like you might think. So what happens if you find yourself in a situation or a home in the big country filled with bees? We'll go to that place, we'll take those bees out for the homeowner. Everybody's trying to get back in. But instead of killing these animals, they relocate them to what they call apiaries. I have started feeding them through here because when I removed the comb, it was dry. Only had very little stored honey. There, these bees can do things like pollinate and make honey, which therefore benefits the community. They pollinate, and that's one of the biggest things they do, especially farmers and people who have crops. They pollinate about one-third of the food we eat. And a lot of people think, oh, they make the honey for us. Well, they're actually making it for themselves. The honey, of course, it's good for coughs, congestion, allergies, eczema. You can put it on your skin. You can eat it every day. Busy bees and beekeepers right here in the big country, providing education and resources for the community. So there is food right here. In Abilene. They haven't drained them all completely yet. Abby Green, KRBC, yeah, Abilene's Three local news. Half. The group has monthly meetings to grow and help each other become better beekeepers. This past week, the group discussed how to care for the bees and their hives in the wintertime. 